Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am going to guide you how you can start interview preparation for DevOps engineers. Okay. So in this video, everything I will guide you. You just need to watch the video till end as well as follow the instructions that I give you. Okay. Okay. So before starting the video, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. We upload videos on daily basis or at least we try to. Okay. So you subscribing to the channel motivates me a lot to create such free content for you as well as keep continuing with the YouTube part. Okay. Also, I have a telegram channel if which is completely many to many. That means everyone can send messages into that group. So if you are having any doubt queries or anything, any issues which you think I could uh, help you with, then I would request you kindly join that uh, telegram channel and I'm con uh, actively replying into that channel. So whatever you uh, queries you are having, you can just post in that channel. Okay. Also, if you want any specific topic to be a video to made on, so you can put that uh, topic also in that channel and I'll try to make a video on it. Okay. Link of that channel will be in the description so you can join from there. Okay. Now coming to how to get started like preparing DevOps. So basically if we, I give you my experience, see since I have always been uh, like working with DevOps. So when I wanted to switch from my previous company to the current company, it took me exactly seven days to prepare everything along with the notes and hands on implementation. And within 10 days exactly, I got my first offer letter of the current company in which I'm working in. Okay. So same thing, I will guide you what exactly I did and how did I prepare for the things. Okay. Uh, also, I would request you to check few of the videos which I have already created, whose link will also be in the description. For example, first of all, I would ask you to check the uh, daily day to day task of DevOps engineer, which I have created. So that is going to be helpful for you. Why? Because see, if you have already worked with uh, DevOps tools and technology in corporate level, then it's no problem. Like you already know what things uh, a DevOps engineer does and you can mention, okay, in case you have not worked out and you are trans transitioning from some other, other field to DevOps, then you will definitely need those tasks to mention. Okay, I used to do these things in my uh, previous project. Okay. So I would request you to watch that. Also, uh, there is a one more video which I have made, which is troubleshooting and errors that come and like uh, happen in like corporate level projects, which I have made. So I would request you to watch that video as well. Okay. Now starting with the topics uh, in, so I will explain you which to DevOps topics, what should you exactly study? Okay. Okay. So starting with Linux. So in Linux, what I want you to do is learn basic Linux, basic Linux commands, how to install packages, how to install any specific tools like Jenkins on our cube in, uh, in Linux machines. Okay. In addition to that, what I would suggest you to study is the basics of shell scripting. Okay. So with basics of shell scripting, if you study, you will have enough knowledge in shell scripting, which you can mention in your interview. Okay. In addition to that, for shell scripting, five to six automation scripts, I would ask you to check on internet. Okay. You can find very easily. It is available for free. You can find and you can st like just uh, uh, like note it down somewhere so that if they ask you what exactly did you use shell script for, you can mention ki I, I, I use this automation scripts using shell scripting. Okay. So Linux, I used to cover this much only. Okay. Coming to Git. Okay. So Git like basic commands, you already know, push, pull, pushing uh, pro uh, like projects to repositories, those things. In addition to that, there are certain commands, which is very commonly asked in interviews. For example, Git merge was versus Git rebase. Okay. Then Git stash, Git pop. So Git cherry pick, these kind of things you can just uh, study. Basically, if you study Git, it will take just one day, exactly one day, not more than that, because it's a very small topic but it's, it has a big impact in interviews. Okay. So I would ask you to uh, check Git in that format. Okay. And also like if you're studying Git, make sure you are doing hands-on. Okay. Then you will understand better. Okay. Now, once you have completed Linux and Git, you should go with Maven. Okay. So in your resume, you can mention that I have worked with Maven as a build tool and I used to work with Java projects. Okay. So for Maven, what exactly you should study is Maven life cycle. Okay. So in Maven lifecycle, we have different stages like uh, compile, validation, package, install, deploy like that. Okay. So if you understand each stage one by one and you do hands-on implementation of this, that is more than enough for Maven. Okay. And in addition to that, uh, separate other factors are there in Maven. For example, you should know like if there are different uh, Maven arguments. Okay. For example, in case we want to skip test cases in our pipeline, what we could do, we could use a parameter like d skip test is equal to true. So these kind of few uh, one or two arguments, if you know that is more than enough, you can just mention, okay, I used to use this kind of arguments. Okay. So these three topics covered. Okay. Coming to next topic, which is the Jenkins CI CD tool. 
for Jenkins very clearly I will tell you just like you should understand how to install plugins okay difference between global uh, tool configuration configure system and plugin space okay as well as credential space okay these four things you should know uh, actually I have made a whole video on that if, if you could just watch it will it will be more than enough on Jenkins okay also uh, other than this uh, what other things you should know in Jenkins is the whole fully fledged pipeline CICD pipeline okay so basically when they ask you about CICD pipeline what they do they ask you what are the stages in your Jenkins pipeline okay so that you need to mention one by one key compile stage maven build stage sonar cube was dependency check docker uh, sorry nexus docker then deployment to kubernetes okay these things you should if you are mentioning one by one it is more than enough because this is very co common question of like how many stages were in the pipeline and this is how i used to answer okay okay after jenkins what you could do you could directly jump into nexus so nexus you can mention ki i used artifact management uh, using nexus and they will ask you what exactly is nexus you can mention ki it is a repository for storing artifacts if they ask what is artifacts you can give example like jar or var which is the actually actual packaged application okay so once that is done you can mention ki okay uh, you you can let like if they ask you how did you connect nexus to jenkins you can mention ki using pom file uh, or like uh, using the settings.xml file we used to connect our jenkins to nexus okay jenkins or any other cid cd tool the method is same okay okay coming to next topic which is uh, actually i would say a docker so in docker basically what you could learn you could learn the basic docker steps like uh, docker build image docker tag image docker push image to repository okay those things you should learn plus in addition to that how to create containers okay the command that that are inside docker like docker run and have and so and so very be very clear on how to write those commands because they may that may be asked to you okay in addition to that docker network and docker compose it is very mandatory okay docker volume is a topic which i don't think because i gave around like i gave and qualified around like uh, nine interviews but not a single interview no uh, like anybody asked me about docker volume till docker network docker compose that is fine okay also the basic steps in docker file you should definitely know because uh, if the most questions asked from docker is from docker file okay so if you are mentioning about docker file ki okay this i have worked with Doc, uh, docker file these were the stages they will ask you like what are the stages what is the uh, like keywords like first keyword that we write in docker file is from what exactly from is used for what is base image okay so docker file understanding you should know and this is more than enough docker push build and as well as integration with jenkins okay docker completed then coming to kubernetes so for kubernetes i would suggest you first learn the architecture of kubernetes plus how to write yaml files of manifest yaml files for deployment to kubernetes okay and you should understand that okay now coming to uh, see and also like uh, you should have little bit of experience in deploying uh, uh, like uh, uh, multi tier applications or fully fledged applications to kubernetes if you know that then at least you can uh, like explain you what exactly have you done see when interview is interviewer is asking questions to you they basically focus on understanding what exactly you have done or if you have used or if you have worked with those applications their main target is that okay so if you tell them okay i have with kubernetes i have done this and that that is more than enough okay okay and for again like whatever topics i am explaining here every single topic i have made a video on i would request you you can check out my playlist 30 days of devops okay so once you have completed uh, this uh, kubernetes coming next two topics that are very important which is iac okay infrastructure as code so there are many tools like puppet chef terraform ansible but at this point trust me i have given lots of interviews knowing terraform and ansible is more than enough no other tool you would need for like uh, this uh, iac because terraform you can use for you uh, use terraform for provisioning request re creating resources creating vms and all and you can use ansible for deploying applications automating the deployment then uh, like uh, installing tools and tech, uh, other things on uh, multiple vms okay these are the only things that will be needed for example uh, when i was giving interviews they asked me with ansible what exactly have you done i clearly explained very clearly that these are the modules that i used in ansible and i installed nexus and sonar cube on multiple servers as well as i deployed applications using docker container okay i clearly mentioned that these are the only tasks that i have done with ansible and they were okay with it because they understood ki okay at least the guy has worked with ansible and knows inside out how ansible works that is the main requirement for interviewers okay okay 
so this is the DevSecOps part which you have uh, done okay in addition to that uh, uh, in addition to this uh, in DevSecOps there are uh, few topics which I will tell you uh, three tools uh, one more that I used to mention in my resume which is SonarCube which is used for code quality check as well as code coverage so in SonarCube they would ask how did you integrate SonarCube with Jenkins or other tools as well as what it is difference between code quality check and code coverage you can mention I have already made a video on everything I'm just telling you okay you can watch that video and learn sonar cube it is like 30 minutes video more than enough okay then there is a separate tool which is known as OS dependency check which is basically a uh, like you can say vulnerability scanning tool. it's a security tool which will scan your uh, application package and find out if there is any vulnerabilities in your source code okay sorry not source code but in your packaged application jar or war file it will find okay next we have trivi so trivi is a very and one of the most important security tool which is used for like uh, scanning docker images even trivi can scan the kubernetes cluster okay and that is a big thing okay and then trivi can scan your source code file system also so trivi is a must known tool and it should be definitely mentioned in your uh, resume okay so these three are kind of like security tools which you can mention that is going to help you stand out of other candidates okay okay and as i always say ki always learn at least one cloud platform for me it's azure i have always worked with azure and i have really good experience with azure okay so in azure basically there is a separate platform azure devops where you can create uh, like build and deploy applications so what i do i like uh, i used a few resources from azure cloud like aks azure kubernetes service acr for uh, uh, like pu uh, pushing the docker images okay and next we have i have used like azure vms plus azure functions okay and one more thing that i have used is like i have deployed basic uh, website applications to uh, azure app service on web apps okay so these five five resources i have uh, five services i have used from azure cloud okay in addition to that i have properly created ci cd pipelines in azure devops that also i have made a video if you just watch it okay so these are the things that you should prepare before going interviews and these were the exact things that I have learned in within seven days when I was preparing for interviews. Uh, so also like in future I'll be creating a full playlist for 10 days preparation of interviews which you can follow to understand what topic you should cover, how much time you should spend on and all other things. Okay. So I hope this video was useful and I hope you learned something from this video and that's it and thanks for watching and have a nice day. Also one more thing since my course is launching very soon on um, in first week of August or like by 25th of July the website will be up if you want you can enroll okay syllabus and everything I have already shared in my telegram group so if you want you can just check that out also okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day.